So I just wanted to take a quick look at a very cool and I would say underappreciated pen. That's the Lamy Logo Rollerball. You might be familiar with the Logo series. It's uh, most commonly seen as a fountain pen. It sells for about 30 to $40, maybe a little bit more as a fountain pen. Uh, the Rollerball is much less common, but shares most of the attributes with the fountain pen. There's a ballpoint too, but I'm not really into that one. So. Uh, the Logo series, again, it's a mid-range Lamy, sells for, you know, maybe $50 retail. This one's the retail is $39 if you were to buy it from Lamy. If you were to buy it off uh, different sources, I've seen them between like $25 and $35. And the basic characteristics of this are, is that it's mostly metal, but not entirely metal. And it's got some of the things you would expect from a higher-end Lamy like a spring loaded clip, but definitely not all the high end features. So now let's run through some of the specifics. So it's uh, obviously a very cool design. Uh, it's largely focused on this brushed stainless steel. It's got some cool embellishments like this uh, kind of uh, notched grip area. Maybe it's not notched, it's like scalloped or something like that. And then uh, largely uses that stainless steel, but there are many plastic components as well. Uh, most notably with those plastic components are this top piece. I know it looks like it's metal, but it's just coated plastic. So this thing, I have heard about it flaking and the metal, that like chrome bits coming off and just being left with black plastic. We move down to full brush stainless steel, brush stainless steel, and then we have this uh, cone in like a stepped shape. That's like a hard black plastic. I used to really dislike that. It seemed cheap, but I've actually kind of grown to uh, like how it looks. It's sort of geometric and interesting. The clip, you could see it has that brush stainless steel. Uh, sorry, the cap has a brush stainless steel. The clip is spring loaded metal which is uh, very cool and very functional nice job there and then there's this piece here i'm pretty sure it is also that coated plastic just for this little uh c or u-shaped piece there uh looking at the pen more closely we can see it comes apart you just twist it here and then we have a metal screw part there so that's nice the front piece does not come off. And then inside we see a Lamy uh, M63 rollerball refill. The M63 is just the capped version of the rollerball refill. The capless version is the M66. This refill's fine. Talked about it a few times. It's not like phenomenal, but it gets the job done. Build quality with this pen, I would say is like fairly good. You know, it's not like perfect. And when you like kind of screw this down, it's not really clear where you're supposed to stop. Is it here? But there's a little gap. And you turn, but I'm turning sort of hard now. And now it feels like it keep going, but I'm turning it harder than I would like. So there are like some precision issues. Putting the cap on and off is just like fine. It's not great, but uh, for a uh, 20 or $30 pen, it's uh, pretty cool. You have to like the aesthetics of this pen. You can't buy it just on the uh, the look and feel. In that case, you will be a little bit disappointed. You do see the Lamy logo sort of etched in there, like acid etched maybe, uh, which I think is very cool. Very, uh, very little in the way of logos here, which I appreciate. You do see uh, that Germany, you see it there under the clip. So you do wanna look for that and make sure that's there. And that's about it. That's the Lamy logo rollerball. It's a solid pen. It's like one of those kind of sleeper hits from Lamy that I've known about for a long time and I never thought I would uh, pick up, but then lately I've just gotten really into Lamy's designs, so uh, I did pick it up. And they do sell it at the Lamy store here in New York City, uh, but you could find it other places. I will say that the pen uncapped is a little small. If each of these markers are half an inch, you're looking at one, two, all right. Uh, one, two, three, four and a half inches. So it's definitely on the small side. Here's it next to a Sharpie. 
uh, which is not super huge. So you can see it does post. So uh, posted, it's probably a little bit more in line, but it feels a little long to me. Here it feels a little short. So you have to uh, kind of get used to the size. It's not gonna be for everyone. If you spend a little bit more, you'll get, for the most part, a more sizable pen. Here's it next to a jotter, which generally speaking is a small pen. And you can see it is uh, has more diameter in the grip area than the jotter. And it's more comfortable to hold for me, but it's not quite as long. Capped, it's a little bit longer than the jotter. Maybe a little bit heavier, but about the same weight. And then a uh, quick writing sample. This is the Lamy logo roller ball. And this is with an M63 medium. I've complained a lot about these Lamy uh, refills in the past, but actually I think they're fine. I think they've been getting better over time as I use them more. I might've had a bad batch or something like that in the past, but it definitely gets the job done. So thanks for watching.